He's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, I'm like, I haven't been to Tim Hortons in like three days. So now that's the third fucking time that you saw me, that you say you've seen me. That's the third goddamn time somebody's seen me in town. I am nowhere to be found, all right? Nowhere! I don't know, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on crack. Dude. To make me a movie star, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that hit. It, it can, depends. I, what are you willing to do? Uh, no. Anything for you, Mike. Uh, I can I see like this, you. I can see this video hitting the red deer form like tomorrow. Or, uh, if you're getting a close up of her chest, I want a copy. Okay. <laughs> I should have worn a low cut shirt, or else there's no fun in that. Yes. Jesus. Blondes have more fun, but that's great. I love that shirt. <laughs> I love that shirt. It's so true. Wait. Is that what that shirt says? Yeah. Just reading it because I show it. Okay. Well, There's a good boob fun. shot yeah. right nice. there. <laughs> Todd, no and jerking off to that. That's funny. Nathan, you too. Aaron, keep going. <laughs> What's so special about Aaron? Then he gets through. We're going to Impala. I gotta go pick up my uh, insurance paperwork at Impala Medical Clinic where my doctor is. So I can send it away to the insurance company. They can tell me what kind of treatment they want to give me for my car accident. And then I get money. I'm not bad. This this place right here, Hubies, they um, don't want as many young kids in there, I guess, so it closes at uh, four. So me and all my friends from West Park, up the hill there, we used to go there in middle school, and we'd come for lunch or just like after school. Um, no boys allowed. We were gonna have a girls' night out here, and that's just how cool we are. No bars. We go to the Hubie's diner. Minimal tenderness of the ribs, lower right side. Sprain one. What? Sprain of ribs, sprain of ligaments in the neck. Oh, I get it. Holy shit, get a picture of that guy's car. Not only is it rusty, but it's half gone. Mm. Looks like the bastard I hit. <clears throat> All right, now, because it's an HP, but this is, by the way, this is why you never buy an HP computer or an e-machine or a compact or a Dell. Everything inside of it is proprietary. By that I mean it only fits in its own case for the most part. What I've had to do was disconnect his zip drive. Well, sorry, we had to install a RAM chip, but in order to get to the RAM chip, we had to pull out his floppy drive that he doesn't use, but that's fine because it's wedged under the floppy. Then what I had to do, install the RAM chip, blah, 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 yada, 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 whatever. We had to go out and buy another IDE cable because, well, they gave him one that only had one terminal on it. That's great. Um, so anyone who would want to put a second hard drive in here would be fucked. Anyway, then uh, what I had to do was switch the power connectors from up here and bring them down to these hard drives because the Mullocks on this end only had one line, only had one terminal. There, one plug. So I pulled that off there, brought it down here. There's no place to mount the hard drive, not even in the old floppy bay. So what do I have to do? We're going to secure it to the bottom somehow so it can still get ventilation and uh, and uh, yeah. This is BS. I fucking hate these machines. They're worthless. But Mike's is okay because we're working on it.